Hey guys, today I'll be fixing a Karina Garcia DIY squishy kit. Karina's DIY squishy art. I think we should tell a scary story. <gasps> no. no! A few things before we begin. I'd like to start out with a disclaimer. Uh -oh. This is not intended as hate or meant to be mean-spirited in any way. And I'm not gonna say anything about the incentive situation because a lot of people have already addressed that. I'm just making this video because a lot of people have had trouble working with Karina's craft kits, plus other very similar squishy kits like it. So I just wanted to try it out for myself and see if there's anything I can do with it. I got my squishy kit off Amazon. It's not on there anymore, but it looks the same as this one that is on there. For some reason, the packaging changed but it has the exact same stuff and everything. So this kit includes easy to follow instructions. You just color, decorate, squish. Seems easy enough. What could possibly go wrong? By the way, if you're new here and you haven't thought about poisoning my strawberry milk yet, you should sell your soul to me by subscribing to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell icon and select all so you don't miss a video or lose me on the internet. I post new videos every Friday. Anyways, let's continue. Moving on. By the way, I paid $15 for this craft kit. I'm pretty sure it was $20 before and then the price was cut. I used to buy a bunch of squishies off of Amazon for like 10 bucks each. They're super, super expensive on Amazon. Amazon's a bad idea. I don't recommend it. Nothing against Jeff Bezos. In fact, I love his haircut. It's just that the squishies are overpriced. <gasps> Since then though, I've discovered that you can buy squishies off of Mercari and other websites for much, much cheaper. Sometimes they even have some in the clearance sections at Target and Walmart for like $2. That's crazy. I know, but I can show you. Here's a frog and a tomato that were both like $2 each from the clearance bins. My point is, you can always find cheap squishies, especially if you're just gonna be painting over them anyway. So here I'm getting three squishies, but I do get an activity out of it, some supplies to create these squishies. If it worked and had good quality paint, I feel it might be reasonable. All right, finally, I get to open the box. So like I said, this craft kit comes with three blank squishies. They feel very soft and smooth. Oh yeah. There's a donut and a cupcake and a mystery. Who's this? Um. This one's truly a mystery because I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Craft City probably didn't know either, so they just wrote mystery. Nobody knows. Unless it's just me that doesn't know. That would be embarrassing. We have some chalk. And then of course we have some puffy paints. I wish they had black just to create more variety and features, but they have all the primary colors plus white, so this will give me some good range of colors. Whoa. Ooh. They also included a very generous amount of sprinkles. An overdose of sprinkles, actually. More sprinkles than the amount of squishy real estate I've been supplied with. I can actually think of one person in particular who would like such a boatload of sprinkles. All the sprinkles all over it. I did not miss a spot. And now, the exciting part. Now that I have all my supplies, I have to figure out what colors I want this to be. Basically, the instructions say to turn the chalk into powder with a coin or a key, and then use a damp brush to paint it. So I did. I turned the chalk into powder and then wet the brush. I'll use the donut as an example here. I'm using blue for the bread of my donut, or attempting to. There's actually not too much color showing up. At this point, you must be asking yourself, Why blue? I don't know. The madness has no method. It just felt like a blue day. Hello darkness, my old friend. I tried building up the color by adding a layer, and a layer, and then another layer, and yet again, another layer. That wasn't even all the layers. I did a lot off camera. Maybe, just maybe, if I go in with enough layers of chalk, I can get the blue to actually show up. Eventually, I was able to get to this point. It's as good as it's gonna get. Take it or leave it. It's still a little transparent, and it's kinda hard to spread it around evenly, but it's got its charms. Sorta. Then I tried the red chalk on top. Wait. No. I don't want the red chalk on top. I'm gonna go in with some of this pink paint for the frosting instead. 
I honestly just could have skipped the red chalk part, but I wanted to see if I could get some better color coverage with the other colors of chalk. And while the paint is wet, I'm going to be adding some sprinkles. So far, so good. I'm just gonna let that sit and dry. The donut turned out extraordinary. It's beautiful. It's great. And then everything fell apart. Spoiler alert. The paint does not stay on the squishies. After watching the paint dry for several hours, you are left with this abomination. Ooh. As you can see, the paint is peeling off everywhere. After only a couple of squishes. Essentially, the kit is rendered useless. There are no survivors. When you said some sparkle butt, I laughed so hard. I'm sure that some sparkle butts will see this video and they'll be very angry and have some choice words for me. And then none of us will be laughing. So go ahead, Bean. Laugh while you can. Anyways. The squishies themselves were really good quality. They have a really nice squish to them. And I think with a few simple tweaks, we can make them work and they'll be very long lasting. In fact, I plan on making them a bit more evil. This is where it gets gruesome. You have been warned. So I'm going to start out by sanding these squishies down as violently as possible until it's covered in little tiny tears all over. Because the squishy is too smooth on its own, the fabric paint won't adhere to it. It needs some type of fabric or texture to stick to. It's a little unpleasant, I'll admit. But the suffering is necessary. And that is why the squishy needed to be sanded down. The thing with chalk is that you do need something to seal it in or it just ends up rubbing off. And as far as the puffy paint goes, the surface was just way too smooth for it to stick. I'm just going to turn these into some very, very simple Halloween themed squishies. I first started off with this. Uh, mystery one. I don't know. I don't even know what it is. Based off the donut and the cupcake, I'm guessing it's supposed to be food? I just can't think of what food this would be. So, yeah. Anyway. I'm just going to be turning this into Jack Skellington. Well, the face of Jack Skellington. Once the surface is all rough and sanded, I just went in with some white paint all over his face. Not sure if that really makes much of a difference. I mean, the squishy already is white. I could have saved myself some time, but I painted it white just in case I'm supposed to. And then once that was dry, I pulled out my black slick paint. I made some hollow looking eyeballs. Then I added the nose and last but not least, his signature stitchy looking mouth. He's horrifyingly adorable. Aww. Thanks, Nina. That's exactly the look I always go for. Keep in mind, I'm not a squishy expert. I'm pretty beginner level. My methods aren't the best. In fact, far from it. And that's why I just keep my squishies more for decor when I use Posca pens. I would never sell my squishies because I know they're not good enough yet. The thing with Karina's kit is that the squishies aren't just meant to be for decor. And the supplies and instructions given just don't work with the squishies. If you're buying a squishy DIY kit, you'd expect to end up with a painted squishy. I feel like that's not too high of an expectation. It's a very reasonable thing to ask for. I want this to be a dark donut. I started off by painting the dough. This time I used an actual dough color. Something more reasonable. None of that random blue stuff I used before. I don't know what had possessed me earlier. So I painted the donut a nice shade of toasted burnt brown. Mmm, crispy. I went in with some orange paint on top. They're Halloween themed squishies, so of course we're gonna need some orange. Fall is really the only time I see the color orange, and then it just kinda poof disappears. I'm actually basing this squishy off of a jack-o'-lantern. After the paint dried, I went in and added a jack-o'-lantern face. I'm keeping these really, really simple compared to what I normally do because this isn't really a squishy makeover episode, more of a review type video. And now it's finally time for the cupcake. My idea for this one is pretty basic. I want the frosting to look like a skull. I painted the cupcake liner a pinkish red, and then I painted the frosting white and added some drips over the front edge with puffy paint. Afterwards, I went in with some black paint for the eyes and nose. It kinda looks like a skull, but also like a ghost? Take your pick. And while I'm at it, I'll add some highlights and blushing cheeks as well. These are definitely not the best squishies I've done. I just wanted to show you that they could work if they were sanded and had that rough texture for the paint to stick to. The chalks in the squishy kit didn't really work, and the puffy paint was okay. 
click on the top left if you want to see some slightly better squishy makeovers. Only click on the bottom left if you're brave enough.